For some reason, the Splatoon in a Twitter didn't announce the kits for these three weapons, arguably the ones people are most excited about in this update, so we can only judge them based on grainy seconds of footage and a single tweet. Alright, so I'm a competitive player who's played since day one of the original, and since that day, I've mained this thing. I dabble in the other rollers here and there, but this right here is my pride and joy. So, I mean, what do I think about this new big swig? I mean, it has a cool name. For real though, Roller's most significant issue is that it can't do much when the team it's on doesn't have proper ink output. It relies heavily upon its teammates and it's left for dead if they can't supply mid with ink. Its only options for pushing alone are the vertical flick that leaves you wide open or the curling bomb, which ninja squid or not is super predictable to see. Because believe it or not, Rollers aren't painters, they're slayers, or support, or both if you're feeling special. But the big swig aims to fix that, apparently. The whole gimmick behind this roller is that it has a wide area of ink coverage while barely consuming any ink. The roller is about twice as large as the base roller, the horizontal flick also seems twice as large, and the vertical looks about the same but is noticeably faster. Okay, so that sounds good, it's like the base roller but actually an inker, but they never showed off how strong it was, nor the kit, and I have two very good ideas on where this roller could go in terms of strength. The unlikely route is that they'll make it much like the Octobrush and have it be strong no matter where you're looking, meaning I can get easy splats even if I'm facing a 45 degree angle away from my opponent. That won't happen though because that's precisely why the roller was so busted when the original game first came out, and they fixed it in the first major patch. The likely route we'll get is an extremely weak roller unless you're on top of your opponents, much like the Carbon. The base roller is very strong, but even if you're centimeters off from where you should have been, you're not getting the splat, which is inherently the roller's second most significant flaw. I can imagine the big swig to have a larger ink radius, but a smaller kill radius, meaning it'll need the tools to get in up close to the enemy team. Also, they say this thing covers a wide area, but so does the dynamo, and that thing is inconsistent as hell, looking alright sometimes, and others being the vein of my existence, which really can be said about all of the rollers, meaning this this might have wide coverage, but it still paints like ass, defeating the entire purpose of it. The kit it has may fix it though, and based on what we've seen, we can assume this thing has a bomb, unless it gets fucked over with Squeakin, which based on these other kits, oh man, please don't. While having Burst Bomb on this thing could balance out its weaknesses, assuming it is weak at a longer range, that's already out of the picture. Instead, having a more aggro kit with Fizzy would work fantastic with it. We've already seen how well it works with Machine, and having a displacement special such as Booyah Bomb or Ink Storm could make this a very solid weapon choice. I also wouldn't be opposed to having Auto Bomb or Torpedo for poking. The chip damage these subs do could potentially combo off well with the Big Swig. As for specials, displacement would definitely definitely work because I can't imagine getting the special for this to be too hard. But having an aggro special such as Killer Whale would also be fantastic. It works well on the ink brush used in tandem with the main weapon to deal extra damage and force your opponents to move in the heat of battle. That on a faster roller could potentially get rid of the issue it may have with damage, and paired with an auto or torp, you're really putting the pressure on your opponents. But this is Splatoon 3, they did this to Bucket and removed Burst Bomb from Aerospray, so most likely we'll see something like this. We'll just have to wait and see. Subscribe and I'll see you guys on the flip side.